All right, Nick, let's talk about the Oregon Ducks. You, as a big football historian, I think will like this story that we have today a lot because everyone knows in college football, one of the most sacred things that you can have is a rival. It's something that goes back hundreds of years if you calculate the, the math there, and it is something that everybody looks forward to, playing your rival every season. But with all of the chaos in the new college football landscape, some people have questioned, are some of these rivalries going to be lost with the conference realignment? The answer is, I don't know, except for Oregon's case. I do know because we have a story talking about the Civil War. It is back on, and Oregon and Oregon State are going to see each other for the foreseeable future. Let's get into the article, and we talk about it on the other side. This is from over on Bleacher Report. It says, Oregon and Oregon State are finalizing an agreement to reprise their Civil War rivalry game in 2024 and beyond. Despite the two schools heading to different conferences next season, per John Kinzano. Oregon heading to the Big Ten will face an Oregon State program set to play a Mountain West heavy schedule next season on September 14th at Reser Stadium. The Civil War has been contested since 1894, and the 127 meetings between the teams has only been topped or equaled in FBS history by the likes of Minnesota and Wisconsin with 133, Auburn and Georgia with 128 meetings, North Carolina and Virginia 128 meetings as well, in Cincinnati and Miami of Ohio, which dates back to 1888 and has been contested 127 times. Oregon leads this series all-time in a record of 68, 49, and 10. Keeping the Civil War intact then is preserving college football history, even with the Pac-12 dissolving after this season as teams head to the Big 10, Big 12, and ACC. Nick, I think this is really important because this would be devastating for both teams to lose this rivalry game. This is something, as they said, it's been going on since 1894. No one on this planet was alive when this first rivalry game happened. I think that this is crucial. We keep things like this going. It's good for the landscape of college football, and it's good for the landscape of both of these schools. It's something sacred, and you don't want to remove it. So I'm really glad that they are going to do this. Nick? I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but Oregon fans, let us know in the comments below. It's early, but what do you think about this Oregon-Oregon State rivalry game being renewed? Do you like it? Did you want to move on? I highly doubt it, but let us know what your thoughts are on this in the comment section below. Nick, what do you think about the renewed rivalry between Oregon and Oregon State? I got three reasons why it's an awesome move for Oregon, right? Outside of the fact, just keeping the rivalry alive is great for college football. Number one, moving to the Big Ten, playing a Big Ten schedule like Oregon does, that's going to open up a lot of national recruiting opportunities. For example, they're going to play Rutgers in New Jersey, Maryland, D.C., right? They're going to get a lot of East Coast exposure. But the reality is a lot of Oregon's success over their history is the ability to recruit on the West Coast, potentially Hawaii, potentially California. Moving to the Big Ten and playing a schedule that heavy, and look, I know we've got USC and UCLA moving to the Big Ten as well. There's still going to be some of those matchups, but it's not going to be quite the same. And getting another game on the West Coast like this will be, I think, will be huge in recruiting and keeping a lot of those West Coast kids intact, keeping that recruiting pipeline really solid because Lanning and company's done a great job of that. I think making sure they get another game on the West Coast like this will be will help solidify that opportunity because one of the things people don't understand sometimes about recruiting, a lot of the recruiting you get done is done during in-season when you invite the recruits to attend games. And look, to be honest, you only have a few home games. You, you're limited to the number of right opportunities you get. You're trying to get as many recruits in as possible. If you're not playing another Pac-12 game, if you're playing a lot of games where you're on the road a lot and you're going to want to have, let's say, Ohio State comes to town or Michigan comes to town, you're not going to be able to get in as many recruits as you normally would like. So you're going to have to pick and choose. You don't like those kind of situations. Getting another West Coast game will help you avoid those things for recruiting kids on the West Coast. So great decision there from that perspective. But here's the second part about it that I really like. The college football playoff committee, and I know we're explaining to 12, 12 games, so I think it even means more now. They are very comfortable excusing rivalry games. They don't. They look past Alabama looking ugly against Auburn, right? They they forgave Texas from losing to Oklahoma. That was the only loss this season for Texas Longhorns. Alabama got in the college football playoff a number of years ago after losing to Auburn the last game of the regular season. Last year, Ohio State got into the college football playoff after losing to their rival, Michigan, the last game of the season. The playoff committee 
is very, very lenient if you lose to your rival. So this is an opportunity for Oregon to add in an out-of-conference opponent that if they lose, it's not absolutely destructive. And if they win, which they most likely will, it'll help build up the resume even more than playing, say, a D1AA team or something like that. So this is a great move for potentially playoff committee and playoff implications, getting an out-of-conference opponent that if things go bad and you get upset, the college football playoff committee, whoever selects those final 12, will take that with a grain of salt. So from that perspective, it's really good. But number three, here's the most important thing about this whole situation. There is a certain attitude if you want to build a program in a state where you want to dominate that state, right? Even though you're going to normally dominate, Georgia's going to dominate Georgia Tech, things like that. Winning and just being the state champ in a state, I know it sounds weird, but it really does mean something to the psyche of the program, knowing you're the biggest, baddest dude on the block. That's a force that gives you confidence throughout the entire season, allows you to keep battling and looking forward to that game where you get to exert your will. That's something that keeps you focused. That's something that keep, you, keeps you motivated. And we know Dan Lanning is really good at motivational tools. So again, keeping another motivational tool in his uh, his uh, toolbox here, a rivalry game, is another smart move, I think, for this Oregon Ducks program. So again, for all of those three reasons I outlined, this is a great move for Oregon in terms of setting themselves up for long-term success. It's also great for college football because these rivalry games are just awesome. I'm glad this one's going to stick around, even with all the realignment. Yeah, Nick, and I like the point you brought up about dominating your state. Because it's one thing to be a Michigan fan and you beat Ohio State. You feel good. But when you walk around your cities, you walk around your towns, there's not too many Ohio State fans walking around in Michigan. But when you're in (laughs) Oregon, there's going to be a lot of Oregon or Oregon State fans. That's going to be primarily everybody. So in your state, it gives you that little bit extra pride if you can win the state. You think about Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State, Carolina versus Clemson, Tennessee versus Vanderbilt. Those are teams... To dominate those states, everybody cheers for them. And if you win your rivalry game, it gives you a little bit of extra bragging right in your state. So, nonetheless, the history, the domination of the state, a little bit of self-pride you have for your program, the recruiting aspects, I think everything you said, I think everything involved this rivalry game is crucial for Oregon. I'm glad they have kept it, and I think it's going to pay dividends for them in the future.